गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन इवन इन दिस मॉडर्न एरा वी आर डूइंग लॉर्ड्स ऑफ मेल प्रैक्टिस टू आर न्यूबॉर्न नंबर वन अप्लाइंग सुरमा और काजल टू न्यूबॉर्न आई नंबर टू गिविंग काउ मिल्क और बफल मिल्क टू न्यूबॉर्न और टॉप फीड टू द न्यूबॉर्न नंबर थ्री अप्लाइंग मास्टर्ड ऑयल टू न्यूबॉर्न स्क्रीन फोर कवरिंग विथ मल्टीपल लेयर्स इवन ड्यूरिंग द समर सीजन और ड्यूरिंग द फीवर वी आर गिविंग मल्टीपल क्लोथ टू आर न्यूबॉर्न दैट इज एब्सोल्युटली नॉट रिकमेंडेड एंड इट्स hip is your worrying about a newborn rash that is erythema toxica or benign rash and thinking this as a measles sixth worrying about the baby crying during urination or passage of stools or during wind passage that is also normal for a newborn baby seventh not feeding during the night time if the mother is doing this she is doing the crying Seventh, delaying the initiation of breast milk or breast feeding. When you delay it, there will be high chance that milk does not come out, or the lactational failure will occur. Eighth, is your not giving normal saline nasal drops frequently, as the baby are obligatory nose breather. They can't breathe. They can't uh, breast feed, according to their desire. Ninth, not giving proper immunization. Tenth. Tenth is your avoiding budding of newborn. Eleventh is your worrying about the baby sleeping more than sixteen to eighteen hours or twenty hours. Worrying about crying during the night times and thinking this as a uh, feeding cry or the um, cry for the feet and giving top feet from outside. This is absolutely wrong. And and applying. some chemical to the umbilicus this is also absolutely wrong i'll justify and i'll give answer to all these misconceptions and malpractices the parents are doing in my next video thank you